Our father was in heaven, the king of the universe. Thank you for this hour, all the more than I seek for forgiveness in this hour. Thank you for the gift of life. Give me my spirit. Speak, Lord, I have listened. Bless me and bless my people. Prepare, Lord, for the second coming. We are prepared to be glorified to all and suffer. At this time, Father, take care. I'm coming to share a word. Let me give me that faith. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that you live. Amen. Friends, uh, we'll have Adventist angels who work in our radio. I'm glad because you're taking your time today uh, to join us in this uh, uh, important time. It's a very good time to live uh, in this artificial place. I'm glad you are called to study the prophecies and also to be acquainted with the word of God. We are not conversant with the word of God. We are not to be a vision of our standing for the truth. So brethren, the people to stand for the truth. Uh, today we are going to share uh, more information uh, from the word of God. And uh, from the word of God, we are all also going to read the Bible in the book of uh, uh, the book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 18, where we want that we should be much aware about philosophy, we should be much aware about philosophy. Uh, second, uh, sorry, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Uh, verse 7 says, uh, As you have therefore received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk here in him. Rooted and pure in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Because uh, you are aware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and the deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So we live in the, uh, the last time of the artists, we live in this last day, whereby people are in a major sense uh, dwelling on the things of the world. Let no man spoil you through philosophies. Let, you, let not man spoil you uh, by the rudiments of men. By being deceived, philosophy. We have the last deception in this last day. People want to save themselves. People want to rescue themselves. But they cannot come to the Lord Jesus Christ to rescue them. So, like in the news article which I saw in Beijing, uh, in Beijing we read a news article which was saying in Beijing, funeral homes and the crematorium are busy as President President 19 are spread, spread. So we are being told that men are doing things in this last days which are these things are actually putting all these people in a test. People all over the world, they are not able to preach. I can't preach. People cannot preach of uh, circumstances which are surrounding humanity. Anger, famine, drought, earthquakes, and all of such like All these things uh, are things that are happening. But you get to know who is behind all of this. When you read the book of uh, Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel chapter 14, which I've ever emphasized ever and ever again, the book of Ezekiel chapter 14 is giving us a glimpse of how the leaders of Israel were approaching uh, the people. They wanted help. They were seeking for help uh, from the prophet. But uh, they never wanted really the help of the Lord. But they had their own wisdom, their own uh, uh, understanding. They could not trust in the Lord with all their heart, with all their money, with all their soul. No, they had their own wisdom. They could not inquire from the Lord what is needed to combat the challenges they are facing through. But uh, we get to understand the book of Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 1 and 2 says, Then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me, and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their heart. This is philosophy. This is vain deceit. They have set up their idols in their heart. And the Lord says, And put the stumbling blocks of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at all by them? 
the God of heaven is asking these wise men of this time, will they come to me for help? Will they inquire for me? Will they ask and say what is the word of God speaking this time? Just like Eve was deceived in the very beginning, sons of men, people are being deceived. People are seeking help from men, but they will not come to the Lord who will help them. They are trusting in vain deceit. They are trusting in the wisdom of men. Like the time of Nu, they do not trust in the Lord. They do not trust in the voice calling them, let's go home. They never wanted it. They want to make the, this world their abode. They will not seek the Lord, the God of heaven, so that they can find him. But they trusted in their own ways. The devil is working this day. Uh, all these things are still happening. If you read the book of uh, Ezekiel 14 verse 14, the Lord God of heaven is saying these things. So there come diseases in the land. So there come calamities in the land. So there be the sword, that is war. So there be pestilence, like pestilence 19 in the land. Verses 14 and verse 20, the Bible says, So these three men, no, Daniel and the Job were need. They should deliver but their own soul by their righteousness, says the Lord. Verses 20. So no, Daniel and the Job were need, as I live. Says the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own soul by their righteousness. They will only deliver themselves. How, why was Job delivered himself? Because of his righteousness. Why were other people destroyed in the time of Job? It is because when Job was offering, giving offerings, others were not to be found. The children were in a party. The children were in football playing. The people were watching for football. What? France versus uh, Argentina. These were rejoicing. These were in a party. While Job was praying, afflicted. Job was crying. Job was lifting up his voice to the God of heaven. The God of heaven is saying, these people will only deliver themselves. Here is Nebuchadnezzar, who is setting up a festival. Here, as we have seen, the Rome, the, uh, Rome has taken, uh, if you can go and check on our website, we shared, uh, Rome is rejoicing, that is, uh, it has fed the world in its own cup. It is rejoicing in the World Cup, in the Universal Church, World Cup, the World, world Church, which they are formed in Qatar. I have shared that one, I will not share it for now, but you go and inquire so much from our website, Adventist Angels Watching Our Radio. While Job was offering and praying, they were rejoicing somewhere. They were somewhere rejoicing. So the Lord God of heaven is saying, uh, No, delivered himself. And his children, those who obeyed this voice, but those who would not hear the voice, they were destroyed. They, ne they never entered the ark. They never trusted in the word of God. So God is saying, like the time of no, let no man deceive you. God, the God of heaven, is saying, let you not be deceived by vain philosophy, by the rudiments of the world. Now, that you see, Frater Duty, doctrines which are coming from Pope Francis, who is saying, let us dream. He's deceiving the people. He's a, a counterfeiting Joseph, who was defeating the people in the time of anger, who was giving a solution to the people of God in those days. God is speaking these last days, and they saying, come unto me, my people. Why are you rejoicing while Job is praying? He's afflicting his soul. He's praying earnestly. And the Lord God of heaven is saying, Have you seen a blameless man like Job? Colossians chapter 2, verses 8, verses 6. As you have therefore received Jesus Christ in your heart, Jesus Christ the Lord. So walk ye in him. Walk as no walk, but you walk with God. So walk in Jesus. Rooted and built upon him, the word of God, so the scripture, not allowed that to see, not protect duty, and be established in the faith of Jesus Christ. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that believe in, uh, here, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. Revelation 14, verse, Revelation 12, verse 17, and Revelation 14, verse 12. And the dragon, the devil, was wrought with a woman. And went to make war with the remnant of our seed, which keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. 
It's against Job, a blameless man who keeps the commandments of God. He was waiting the parents and found wanting many, many, many the care. He was found blameless. His people have washed their vessels. They are without blame. They are blameless. They are innocent before the eyes of God. And God is saying, Come unto me. Be rooted and be pure in him and established in the faith. While Pope Francis is saying, Let us pure cities. While Pope Francis is saying, Let us pure bridges. We are brethren and brothers. The Lord God of heaven is Jesus Christ, even is saying that uh, my brethren are those who do the will of my father. But these people are doing the will of Pope Francis. Now that us see, these people, their mind is being rooted in this world. It is being rooted in uh, uh, Lord see. It is being rooted in prayer duty. It is being rooted in Sunday worship, which is the Sabbath of, uh, of the purpose, not the Sabbath of the Lord. But we know the Sabbath of the Lord is the 70 day Sabbath. Saturday common we call. This is the 70 day Sabbath. Being rooted, being grounded, the assumption the faith of Jesus Christ. Here is the patience of the saints. Here they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. Uh, being established in the faith, a few opening thoughts according therein with thanks, thanksgiving, friends. Be aware lest any man, the Pope Francis, the man of sin, let no man deceive you by any other means. For that day of the Lord shall not come, except there come a falling away fast. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, so that he as God, sit in the temple of God. He is opposing the Prince of Peace. As it is saying in the book of Daniel, chapter 8, verse 25, he is opposing the King of Heaven. Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25, the Papa is told to change even the Sabbath of the Lord. And God is saying this last day, return unto me. And I will return unto you. This is the man of sin. Be aware as this man of sin is for you through philosophy. Now that to see, brother duty, and being deceived after the tradition of men. They are calling scientists, scientists in this time, astrologers, and all those who Nebuchadnezzar was calling. He was gathering lawyers, he was gathering governors, he was gathering all people, kings of the earth. Revelation chapter 17, verses. Uh, Five, it says about this woman, his son Harold, who has raped his husband and he has daughters, friends. The Revelation 17 also speaks in uh, Daniel says, These have one man with the kings of the earth, they have one man, and they shall give their power unto the peace. They are submitted to the peace, they are submitted not to the power of God, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ, but to the gospel of uh, Pope Francis, of saying, Save our common home. They are uh, teaching about evolution. They, this is the purpose who has directed the people, their mind to the earth, not direct them to the King of Heaven, Jesus Christ. This is the Antichrist of these last days. The God of Heaven is saying, Lest any man the purpose spoil you through philosophy, now that the sea and the vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. In these last days. But God of Heaven is saying, you should be found blameless, being sanctified by the truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That is uh, only the word of God. John 17, 17. But the purpose he has come with his own word. He's calling himself even in a movie which was acted. Pope Francis, a man of his own word. But what about Jesus Christ, the word of God? Who is this opposing the Prince of Peace? Aha! Uh -huh. Who is this? Daniel chapter 8, verse 25. He said, this man shall oppose the Prince of Peace. But the Lord God of heaven has said in Ezekiel 14, verses, um, um, in verses 19, Or if I send a pestilence into the land, and pour out my fear upon it in blood, to cut off from it man and peace, though no Daniel and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. What happened in the time of Noah? No was calling uh, the people. You cannot save yourself from what is coming. You cannot save yourself from what is coming. He come to the port. Be in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ in you. Come unto me and I will dwell in them and they will dwell in me. That is what the Lord is saying. That is what the God of heaven is directing his own people in such a time uh, like this. Don't know. Daniel, Daniel, there was a degree. At first before the degree came, there was a test of uh, diet. 
we are being tested in this time. We must return to the original diet of the God of heaven. Daniel also, there was a degree which was coming over worship. But we have seen here there is an idol. These people, Ezekiel 14 verse 3, they have set their idols in their heart. This is philosophy. For Francis has given philosophy in his laudato He He says for you to combat calamities, for you to combat all these problems we are passing through, Sunday must be enforced. The purpose is saying. This all the while as Revelation chapter 13 verse 3 is saying, and all the while wandered after the beast. These people are rejoicing. They are actually rejoicing over uh, the, uh, rejoicing over the peace. They are wandering over the peace. Proverbs 17 verse 5. The purpose is here. He is mocking the poor. As they are saying that they are saving the poor. They are really destroying the poor. These are the same people who bring crisis. The devil was the same person who was bringing calamities. And it's the same person who was taking the message to Job. Don't you know your properties are being destroyed? The fire of God has come from heaven, he is saying. But he really is the one who is doing these things. He must be revealed. He is rejoicing in calamities. He is giving doctrines, laudatosi, fraternity, and that and secure cause, which is going to the world and making the world mad. They don't know the cause of all of these things. Why is the heart troubled? They don't know. They don't know, friends. In the time of Cain and Apple, the God of heaven said, I have seen. The blood of your brother is crying from the ground. The ground is crying. What did it did was happening? There was murder. That is the problem. The, law. the problem here we have is over the law. Go read the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. The Jews were coming before Jesus and they say, you know, why are you not your disciples washing their feet according to the traditions, rudiments of the world of Francis? Why are they not following and washing their hands? But the Lord said those things, uh, which comes from the art is the problem. Evil art, they have evil imaginations, adultery, murder. In their eyes, they do murder. They are laying snares to capture uh, the people of God. Proverbs 17, verse 5. Who so mocked the poor, reproached his maker. And they that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. People are rejoicing in calamities to come up with the policies, to come up with governments. People are making policies which should never have seen the day, which is taking away the freedom of the people. And who is leading them? Revelation chapter 13 verse 3. And all the world wandered after the peace. Revelation 17 downwards, it says, uh, These have one mind, and they shall give their power on the peace. They shall wander after the peace. They shall follow the papacy, the peace. They will not want to follow the Lamb of God. No, they are following the peace. Oh, friends, who are we following? The book, The Great Controversy, uh, page 589, 589 to 592, I can read some few things here. Satan walks through the elements also to garner his service of unprepared souls. In Beijing, funeral homes and the crematoriums are a piece as pestilence 19 spreads. These things are spreading. Satan walks through the elements also to garner his service of unprepared souls. He has studied the secrets of the laboratories of nature and he uses all his power to control the elements as far as God allows. What did the devil do in the time of Job? He brought calamities which were destroying God's people. He brought diseases and the poils. People are being troubled by diseases of every sort. Aha! Uh -huh. Go read what happened in the time of Job. Okay, in the time of Elijah, what happened? They were blaming Elijah. While appearing to the children of men as a great physician who can heal all their maladies, Satan will bring disease and disaster until the popular cities are reduced to ruin and desolation. Even now he's at work in accidents and calamities by sea and by land. Who sees rejoicing calamities to come up with policies, evil policies which is fighting conscience. In accidents and calamities by sea and by land, in great configuration, in five tornadoes and terrific airstorms, in tempests, in floods, in cyclones, in tidal waves, earthquakes and in every place in a thousand forms he is certainly exercising his power he sweeps away the ripening harvest and the bar mine and distress sorrow he sweeps away funeral homes and criminals are a pc they are sweeping away the people of god the harvest really is great who can harvest them who can show them the direction what is the problem what is the matter he sweeps away the ripening harvest and the farmer and distress sorrow he to the air, they did paint. 
and cows are perished by the pestilence. TCP stations are to become more and more frequent and disastrous. Destruction will be upon the inhabitants of the world. The peace of the field will groan and the earth will languish. Oh, friends, go read these words. And then the great deceiver will persuade men that those who serve God and are causing these evils. It will be declared that the, uh, that the nation is offending God by the violation of the Sunday Sabbath. Oh, friends, let's go and understand these things, how they are um, being revealed in this time. We live in the last days, friends. The God of heaven is seeking for a people who will stand for the truth. The year, the people of God are being, are in trouble, friends. They are in trouble. Calamities are coming of every sort. People are being troubled in every form. Who would stand for the truth? Who would stand in such a time like this? God is looking for a people who would be able to stand uh, for the truth. These people have trusted in broken systems which can all know water. Here, look on your screen. A massive aquarium holding 1,500 tropical fish passing per in. What is this? Do you know what the fish? The Lord God of heaven says that I will make you fishers of men. Oh, Peter, I will make you fishers of men. But what is this that people are depending on that they are going to be, they are, they are going to pass? They will pass, friends. People are going to pass, friends. Like who? Who, who pasted? You know who pasted? Judas pasted because he was seeing the word of God. People are going to pass because they don't know the real truth. Aha! Uh -huh. They don't know the real truth. They are trusting in the purpose word. Broken systems which can hold uh, no water. The book of Ezekiel, the book of uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah? Jeremiah says in chapter 2 verse 13, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and they have healed them out systems, broken systems that can hold no water. They are depending on Pope Francis' word. They are following the man of sin. Let no man deceive you by any other means. That the day of the Lord shall not come, except they come away falling away fast. And that man of sin be revealed. The fish, if of God, are fasting. They are being deceived, friends. Calamity after calamity is coming. And these snares are coming to rob God's people peace. Where they are crying peace, peace, peace. Where is peace? Where is peace, friends? Peace, they are like fish. Aha. Uh -huh. Who is going to harvest the fish now? It's like the fish, friends. Who will harvest them? Who will prepare them for the coming of Jesus Christ? Who will show them the truth in such a moment like this? The God of heaven is seeking for a people who will direct his people to know the truth. Who will direct God's people to know the truth? They are, should not depend on Pope's word, which is uh, they are saying to protect all these things. No, the God of heaven says, Let's keep his commandments. Not the Pope's commandments, the Ten Green Commandments. No. This is a counterfeit. This is making war with the God of heaven. In Lebanon, it says, people in Lebanon are roping punks and stitching seat ins to assess their own savings. People are roping punks and stitching seat ins to assess their own savings. As the Pope is roping the people the word of God as a thief at this time, roping the people. Here, people are being troubled. Now they are taking things uh, and looking for solutions. What is happening when the foundation is being destroyed? What is our foundation being rooted, being grounded in the word of truth, in the word of God? When the foundation, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? They will sigh, they will cry for the abomination we are being done in the land. They will restore, they will cry and restore all of this. They will cry and restore, friends. Shall we not restore the people to the past which they were supposed to bear in the foundations? That is the work we have been given as God's people in such a time like this. Roping fans, friends. Who, where shall we get help from? The help comes from the Lord. Until they know these things were tested in France. These things were tested in France. What are they saying? Roping fans. Roping fans, friends. Calamity after calamity. Calamity after calamity. See? Cyber attacks on all stores uh, toward India's push to digitalize, digitize healthcare. They are fighting for digital. You know that is they are coming up with IDs. You know IDs? They are coming up uh, with the digital IDs. 
very soon we cannot be able to fire ourselves. The Bible is telling me Revelation chapter 7, 13 verses 17 that uh, in that time we shall not be able to fire ourselves. These calamities they are reducing in it because they want to bring a new world order. They are going to bring everything that you cannot do. You cannot have that liberty like Napoleon. They will take these things from you and uh, you cannot be able to uh, fight back. You cannot have that freedom. That is what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13, friends. That is what the word of God is saying. And in fact, uh, 17, uh, 16, America will record all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand, in their, and in their, or in their forehead. And no man might buy or sell, save with that art the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. They will conform to the word of Pope Francis, being rounded and grounded in the word of Pope Francis, not in the word of God. The Bible has told us in the book of uh, uh, in the book of Colossians, we should be rooted and grounded in the word of God. We should be rooted and grounded in the word of God in such a time like this. As these people are fighting for digital uh, thing, as uh, they are calling it, we know what they are, the agenda. Very soon, we cannot be able to buy ourselves uh -huh. a digital ID for every Indian. Very soon, people will be followed everywhere surveyed everywhere. That means freedom is at stake. It's at stake. They are saying we are making good services of services for you. While appearing to the children of men as a great physician, uh, it will bring disease and disaster until popular cities are reduced to desolation. The book of Second Peter, Second Peter, uh, chapter seven, Second Peter, chapter two, verse seventeen. These are words without water. What are they saying? The word of God is saying these people are promising them all these things. These are words without water. They are taking people captive with strength. In the verses, uh, these are words without water. Do you hear aqua and aqua cylinder, which was carrying water? Clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For what is speaking great swearing words of vanity, they allude through the lust of the flesh, not the word of God, lust of, of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. They are deceiving these people, taking them to more and more snares. Very soon, people will be awakened to find that freedom is not there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They will find uh, that freedom is not there. People panning what they call freedom of uh, speech. When they are going to say, you know, you are affecting us. Virginia joins several other states in panning TikTok on government devices. Very soon, that freedom even in, in uh, Proclaim the truth to the ends of the earth. We shall not be able to find it. We shall not be able to find it. They are going to stop every form of a way or a channels of truth. They are going to uh, close it. Even our social media, Facebook, uh, all this soon they are uh, going to close uh, uh, these channels and doors of uh, proclaiming the truth because we know the time of the end is here. In Paidoa, Somalis, live at the epicenter of drought, anger, and conflict. Who is bringing all of these things? They bring, uh, we said there is a man who is rejoicing in calamities, and all the world is wandering after him. They are bringing troubles and troubles, and they promise good things. While they promise them, verse 19 of 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 19, while they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, of whom a man is of, overcome, of the same is, is he brought in bondage. As these people are saying, they are bringing solutions uh, for drought, anger, and conflict. Like the devil was saying, the fire of God is come from heaven. It was the same devil was bringing fire from heaven and the strength. While they promised them liberty, these same people, uh, the people are ensnaring. These people were saying, we are solution men, we want to help you. These are the same people who are uh, bringing troubles. The Bible said in the book of Ezekiel chapter 14, that, that the elders came before the Lord to inquire from him. They never wanted the word of God. They wanted the purpose word, not the word of God. No, they never wanted the sort of scriptura. They bring calamities and say, you know, we give you solutions. We will help you. We will fight for you. We are here to help you. They bring the solutions, they bring uh, evils and they bring solutions. 
Malaysia lands like death toll, rises to 24, with nine still missing. The devil reported to who? Uh, was reporting to Job, the fire of God has come. The, your animals, which were in the field, have been destroyed. Your people, people who were in the field, the people who are in the water, being destroyed, who were in the field, they are being destroyed. They are reporting. They are reporting here, landslide, all of this rises to 24. But the devil is the very same one who is bringing all these evils, who is destroying the people. And it's the same one who is trying to bring a solution as where he has destroyed. We can only find help in the Lord, the God of heaven. We can find help in the Lord. Some of America's biggest vegetable growers fought for water, then the water ran out. Some of them, do you know in the Proverbs what these thing, things mean? What is water? My doctrine, I shall drop like a, like what? Like water. It shall drop like water. It's the word of God. Just God says I'm the water of life. The America is the land of liberty. America fought for water. They fought for freedom, for the word of God. People were freed from Rome. They came on to America and established a land of freedom, a peaceful land. But this water is flowing out, it's running out. Freedom is running out. Where shall we find freedom? Where shall we find freedom in such a time like this? Freedom is at stake. Freedom is at stake. All freedom is at stake. The freedom. Water is running out. Do people really know the way, the truth, and the life? They don't know Jesus. The world this time don't know Jesus. They don't, the world don't know Jesus. A hippo, I love this because I will read this one. A hippo attacks a young boy and then spits him out. And then spits him out. The book of Proverbs chapter, chapter 7. Do you know what happened uh, to, Ela, uh, to the Jonah? He was swallowed by what? Jonah was swallowed by a big fish. And he was uh, spit out at the pants. Aha, uh -huh. uh, if attacks a young man, who is a young man? Israel is my son, the Lord says. In the Bible, say, Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1, Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1, my son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Tell us of what? Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the ape of thy eye. Let's move up to verse 7. For at the window of my house I look through my casement, and if he among the simple ones, I stand among the youths, a young man, that's a young boy, void of understanding. Who is this young boy? This is Israel. Israel is my son. Void of understanding. He's going back to Rome. The water is running out. Why? They've gone back to Egypt. Passing through the streets near uh, our corner. He went the way he went uh, uh, the way to our house. He went to seek an Arab woman. Uh-huh. Verse 9 in the dark. That is the, the darkness of the earth. The twilight in the night. The middle. The noon of the papa sees the midnight of the world. The twilight. The evening in the black and dark night. And behold, they met him a woman with the attire of an earth. Sapphire of the earth. This is the one who is really attacking. He's really attacking Israel. We know where these things are tending. History is speaking. History is really speaking loud, very loud and clear. Very loud and clear. Could we be able to understand these things? Shall we be able to understand as countries are increasing everywhere in the land? So, rail workers, horse union, president who part the party. We are having strike, worker strikes, unions. And these unions we know, as it happened at the time of Jesus, there was a union. These people were crying for their rights. Christ Jesus never cried for his rights. These people are crying for their rights. When they cry for their rights, uh, there is evil friends. I'm going to share with that you. If you want to help to know from the book that the of ages, speaks that the Christ Jesus never cried for his rights. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 53, he was quiet. He never opened his mouth. The Lord God of heaven is the judge. What could a just transition to a degrowth economy look like? A transition to a degrowth economy look like uh -huh. you see people in this time we are uh, being uh, fought right and center left right and center of the economy and such like uh, people the same people are destroying these things at the same people are saying we give you a solution big tech has rigged the game against artists 
here is how we can fight back. Tic Tech has rigged the game against artists, against writers. Why? Do you know what this is saying? Copyright. They say copyright and such like this. Tic Tech, they don't want you to share, to speak these things. Tic Tech, they are taking that freedom away. That is what the danger we are in in this time. Tic Tech, wreck the artists, uh, the rights of the people. They are fighting this. How can we fight back? Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead here on the second part here. Uh, the, the, the God of Heaven is referring these things. Railway uh, workers strike out after Congress and Biden broke rail strikes. Strikes are common in these last days. And we know that the Sunday law is very soon coming. We are saying for these calamities to come as we read, let's give a decree. An idol suffered. We say in Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 3, an idol in their heart. And this idol is their Sabbath. A philosopher for Francis around that is saying for a solution, I will give you my Sabbath. Not the Sabbath of the Lord, no. This is the Popeye's Sabbath. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 and Daniel chapter 8 verse 25. He speaks that this man of sin is coming up with his own principles. Revering, uh -huh. let's go ahead because of our time. Is saying here on your screen, but this speech here is saying that uh, William Robinson grew up revolts in the age of uh, pestilence 19 capitalism. We are struggling. Twitter may be in violation of German law, uh, labor law. Okay, amid devastating floods, Pakistan and China partner to kill They partner amid all these troubles. People are partnering, so they are bringing crisis to unite. They bring crisis for people to unite to help one another, but they don't know that it's a snare. The book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and even Ecclesiastes chapter 9 gives that there is a woman who is full of snares and deceiving the old world. This woman is feeding the world with these doctrines, with principles, which is making the world mad. They cannot reason. Men who are beyond reason, they never knew the word of God. Amid devastating pride, Pakistan and China partner to fuel uh, climate resilience. What the hell is going on with the British Conservative Party? Okay, we will not cover that one. These people are fearing, they are coming together, they are fearing Pablon to combat the problems which they are facing. There is a flood, there is calamities here and there, so they come together. They are coming and mingling and coming together. What are they crying for? Indigenous resistance and the roots of uh, Ecuador is national strike. Roots of what? Ecuador is na national strike. But the Bible tells us in Colossians chapter 2, verses 10, we should be rooted and grounded, verses 8, in the word of God this time. People, there are strikes which are common here. But what are people grounded and rooted in? People are fighting freedom of concern. Uh -huh, that is what happened when Jesus Christ was uh, crucified. They were crying, crucify him. Very soon, people are going to cry for a Sunday law you know, as they are being taught by their pastors. At first, at uh, COP27, damages to Europe South nations from climate change finally on the agenda. Okay, I will not cover that one because uh, time is. Uh, not with me. Time is not with me. So what I would say here is what made me happy. There is a man here who is known as, known as Eric Bernard Mappels. Uh -huh. He said on Facebook actually yesterday on the 17th uh, December 2022, this man publicly made a stance. This is what he says. This was the most difficult decision as a human being ever. I have made up my mind. What about you? I have made up my mind. So we must decide and worship the Lord with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, following the will and the word of God. So this man, what made me happy, he stood for the Sabbath of the Lord. God is seeking for such a people in such a time to stand for the Sabbath of the Lord. We have seen that the crisis is over the Sabbath of God. These governments, as we see uh, people are striving over the nations, uh, as the churches are sleeping, Satan is steps ahead. Uh, uh, those who honor the Bible Sabbath will be denounced as the enemies of law and order. Uh, okay, let's see. The miracle working power manifests through spiritualism will insert this influence against those who choose to pray God rather than man. Messages will come from the spirits declaring that God has sent them to inform the rejectors on Sunday that they are in error and that the laws of the land should be obeyed as the law of God. That is, you see, they will lament the great wickedness in the world. And the second testimony of religious teachers that the degraded state of morals is causing by, caused by the discretion of Sunday. Great repeated indignation excited against all refused to accept their testimony. Those who want the Bible Sabbath will be denounced as the enemies of law and order, breaking down the moral 
pestilence of society, as causing anarchy and corruption, and calling down the judgments of God upon the earth. The affirmation of scruples will be pronounced obstinacy, stubbornness, and contempt of authority. The group be accused of disaffection towards the government. Ministers who deny the obligation of the divine law will present from the pulpit the duty of yielding obedience to the civil authorities as ordained of God. In legislative orders and courts of justice, commandment keepers will be censored. Aha, uh -huh. what do we hear? Uh, social what? Social media censoring. Censored and misrepresented. A false scattering will be given to their words. The worst possible construction will be put upon their motive. The professor and judges have rejected the clear scriptural argument in defense of God's law, and they long to stop the mouths of those whose faith they cannot overthrow by the Bible. Ezekiel chapter 14, uh, verses, uh, Ezekiel chapter 14, uh, verses uh, 3. They have formed an idol degree Sabbath. They deem the list of judge and state will need to pray, persuade, and compare all classes to honor the Sunday. The lack of divine authority will be supplied by oppressive enactment. Father in heaven, guide us and bless us, and thank you for this time. Be appreciated, be glorified to the ends of the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye.